Now, I chose to do my roast for 4 minutes and 50 seconds, and I'll put that into seconds, let's see, 4 times 60, so that's 290 seconds. And that got me through the first crack, so I checked yes, or I wrote yes, I did hear the first crack. I stopped before the second crack, so I typed no, or wrote no on the second part. And now we are on number nine. Uh, now, why did I choose to do after the first crack? Uh, oftentimes, that's how I like my coffee. Uh, I also like to go into the second crack some, and my wife more likes a full-on second crack. So everybody's got their own preferences, and that's what we're all here to figure out. And I knew that if I stopped after the first crack, that my second one that I'm going to do for this activity, I can go into the second crack and, um, and have different beans to compare. So that'll be the one difference between the two roasts that you're doing today. Now, number, uh, oh, record the mass of the large kitchen bowl with the chaff. I've got the large kitchen bowl with the chaff, and uh, I could see some of the chaff on the table that I was using, so I did try and sweep it in to get all of it. I probably, I know I missed some, but hopefully I got, I got, I feel like I got 80 to 90% of it. And then I put it on, and I get uh, 159.0, oh no, <laughs> 1,059.4 grams for the mass of large kitchen bowl and chaff. And that's what it looks like. Next is allow the beans to cool in the popper for at least 10 minutes. I've done that right here. Actually, they're still quite warm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and wait longer until they feel cooler. Because when I put them in my plastic, I do not want them to melt my plastic.